In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to add meta tags to your site. Meta tags are very important because they act as descriptors for your web page so the search engines can display information about your site when it shows up in the results. So when you do a Google search for any phrase and you see the, the 10 sites that come up on the first page, the engines are using the meta tags to display that information that goes with the site. So meta tags are pretty simple to set up. They're inside your HTML code, so you need to have an editor that will allow you to get inside the code, or if you're just coding from scratch, like I'm doing now, you can just use Notepad or whatever you use to manage your page. And they always appear inside the head tag, so always make sure you have an opening head tag right before your meta tags. The first tag is the title, and it's what it suggests. It's the title of your page. You want this to be descriptive, but you also want it to be somewhat catchy, or you know, we want it to stand out, so you will entice people to click on your page. It, it kills me when I see titles um, that are so basic, like um, vacation information or cleaning tips or you know whatever something you you want people to be able to see exactly what your page is about and you want to give them a reason to click so make sure you you describe and take some time into thinking up some some good descriptive titles so let's say you have a site on how to meditate and you've written an article with 10 other techniques that people can use to meditate your title may be something like 10 easy meditation techniques and then I'm going to close the title tag with the slash, the forward slash, and then the title surrounded by the brackets. Um, you know, it's nothing wow about this title, but it does, if, if I'm a beginner and I'm trying to search for information on how to meditate and I see 10 easy meditation techniques, it's going to entice me to click because I'm new, they're easy, and there's 10 of them, and I'm, you know, I may get curious and say, okay, well, let me see what this is about. This looks much better than, than using something like meditation or meditation techniques you know tell them they're 10 easy meditation techniques it's much more descriptive also whatever is in this title tag appears in the browser up here at the top left where I'm moving my mouse um, whatever is included in this title tag will also show up here okay the next tag is the description tag and watch my syntax here notice I'm putting quotes around description and the equal sign you have to have all this exactly right or they may not show up Okay, the description, you, you want to keep your title and your description under 65 characters. That's just kind of like a general rule. Um, you don't want your title or your description to get cut off, especially your, your title. So make sure you try to keep everything under 65 characters. And with your description, just like your title, you want to you know make it descriptive, make people understand what your site is about um, so they can decide if they want to click on it or not. And for your description, you might say something like, the perfect notice I'm hitting return here that's because of my my video is is limited with the size you don't normally have to hit a hard return when you're doing your meta tags you can put everything online right on one line the perfect meditation guide for beginners might be a good title notice I've got meditation techniques meditation guide beginners these are all important keywords because if, if your site is trying to target someone who wants to learn meditation all of these keywords are important when somebody's searching for your site so it's important that you try to get in those keywords that you want people to 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 notice so if I'm a beginner 10 easy meditation techniques is going to catch my attention and then in the description the perfect meditation guide for beginners those two things are going to say okay hey this is a good site for me because I'm a beginner so let me click on it and see what it has to offer so that's why it's important to be as descriptive as you can and the last ta tag is the keyword tag now this tag has really lost its value over time it used to be used to help the search engines rank your page so if your if your site was about meditation techniques you would put meditation techniques in this keyword area and your site would would rank on the first two three pages for this um, this keyword phrase barring you had assuming you also had content on your page about meditation techniques but as the the net grew people started abusing this tag and 
Um, so now the engines no longer really value it in that way. Now, if you're using AdSense or you have some type of contextual ad program on your site, you may you still want to use this this tag because the the programs or the services may use this tag to kind of get a better idea of what your page is about. So it's still a good idea to use it, and some of the smaller engines may still use this tag. But don't lose sleep trying to come up with you know 500 keywords to go here. Just pick one or two keywords and you know separate them by commas and then call it a day don't spend your time you know picking up it doesn't matter you know whether you have four whether you have ten just do your basic keywords and move on so for this example my two main keywords for this page may be um, meditation comma and let's see relaxation and let's do one more relieve stress those are the three things that this article covers so those are the three main keywords that I'm telling the search engines that this article is about again don't stress over this tag because it's really been devalued and it's not really used as much in terms of ranking your pages nowadays your page rank comes from how many other related quality sites are linking back to your site or your page so that's when the marketing comes in in order to rank your pages higher you have to learn how to get links from other um, relevant quality sites that's what the search engines are looking for so there are your meta tags and you close up here by closing your head tag again there are tons of many there are many more uh, meta tags but these are the most important so I hope you've learned something today and uh, make sure you add your meta, ta meta tags to all of your pages and I will see you in the next tutorial bye bye